hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel this is Austin code cipher back again with a simple tutorial on web development so in this tutorial we are going to be talking about the four attributes you always use in the label tag as let's say you're a beginner and you already see this tag you don't know what it does you don't know why even it's put in that section or that tag so we always put the four attribute inside this label tag they write this label and they add another to be called for are you seeing this text field has an id of user what you have to put here it's the id you have given to this text field let's say user and the use is let's refresh these are the two text fields we are having let me zoom in I think that's better the importance of this for attribute is it enables the user even if a user clicks on a certain label it will highlight the text field that is supposed to be having that attribute let's say this one is the one we gave the attribute of four as you can see it has the ID of user and we said this label is for the text field with the ID of user. So we are saying this label is for this text field with the ID of user. So even if the user clicks here, user, this text field will be highlighted. Unlike to the second one, as you can see, the second one has nothing like a for attribute or an ID. So even if the user clicks on this username, nothing will take action because it's having nothing. But when you click this one, the text will be highlighted, the text field. Now let's do like this. I'm going to give this one an ID of next. And I'm going to put here for next. And I guess you already know what it's going to do. So when the user clicks this one, the second text field is going to be highlighted because you said that label is for the text field with an ID of next and this one will not be highlighted so I guess you have known the importance of the for attribute it indicates the text field with an ID of that value you have given to the for attribute as you can see we are saying that this label is for the text field with the ID of next that's why the second field he is highlighted when you click on this label so even if you don't go to the text field and click there you can make use of this for attribute so i hope this tutorial was useful for you guys so what you're going to do let us give them their normal username and put for and you put here like next the ID will give it next, also the four becomes next. So if you are to refresh and you say this, it's for this text field, and this is for this text field. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope this tutorial was useful to you. You have understood the use of the four attribute and how you apply it on your different forms. Peace. Make sure you subscribe, like the videos, share them on different social medias and i'll see you in the next tutorial very very simple tutorial i always make